Yeah, so it's, if there's, if there's, if there's, there's why should he come into your house? <laughs> nothing for him to get involved with, uh, because that, that's his jurisdiction, slaying demons, let's say. Well, he's got, got plenty of work to do. We all agree on that. He's got plenty of work to do. So, um, you know, I um, never um, I consciously encountered, but in my book, I, I write about an encounter with uh, what could be considered to be satan the devil whatever a very very tangible evil which hung around for at least two months very very powerfully uh and its whole intention was to destroy and i had to fight that and i fought it with my own fortitude, what I thought was my own fortitude, uh, knowing that um, at my root I am pure love, I am not evil, um, and evil comes to prey on people when they uh, may be considered to be easy targets. Um, but having come out of that, uh, I said that, well, the chances are I never did it on my own. I did have some help from uh, the father of the light, let's say, when the father of the darkness was trying to envelop me, I'm like, well, you know, who am I to take on such magnitude? I must have had a, a, a help from somewhere else. So maybe that was Archangel Michael fighting with me, having my back. Might be, yes, it might be. If, if it was him or whatever i mean but you see I, in my book uh, uh edward and this is really important when i speak about things i'm speaking about it very very explicitly um with the encounters that i know i've had uh angels and demons and god and jesus and all that but i don't know i've had any encounter with any archangel i saw two angels they seem to be very beautiful and benevolent and calm and chilled and loving and all that um one of them wasn't a warrior um there was just a message in there for me a very very powerful message but um, I had no awareness um, of any angel fighting for my cause or helping me. Uh, but that's something I'm open-minded about because this archangel, Michael, has been spoken about just as much as anything else. You know, God, Spirit, Jesus, and all these sort of things. So I'm accepting that he's there, another one of the entities. But uh, I haven't as yet met him. Yes. I also... Um, well, Jesus is special, very special. But, well, these things are going on, yes. And it's, well, it's um, it's remarkable. Um, it's also the same with, um, I mean, Satan or these super high um, negative entities. They also just uh, come up out of the microcosm only for special a special reason only if the person is um really so well it depends okay it depends they they try also to possess people that are um in esoterics and spirituality just to control them and to use them this is one possibility I mean, they always want to do this. Of I've course. met people who I knew were possessed by demons. Yes. Because you feel it, it's tangible, it's very, very apparent. And when you become um, spiritually uh, endowed or on the path, you become very um, tuned in to energy and when there's a negative one in your vicinity you know it 